Manitor of Nubia is one of the stronger early rush leaders in Civilization VI Gathering Storm. Her biggest advantage is the unique ranged unit. The Pitati Archer replaces the regular Archer and has a higher combat strength. Even though it costs about 15% more production, Nubia's Taiseti ability offsets it with a 30 production boost towards all range units. And all range units gain combat experience and therefore promotions 50% faster. But the best part of the Petati Archer is its mobility with plus 3 movement. It allows units to walk into the rough terrain that provides defensive combat bonus and then shoot at the same time or maneuver the units to preserve their health. Here is how to execute the early rush strategy with Nubius successfully. First, your starting location needs to have a decent production with hills and resources for mining to complement Nubius' ability. And it is important that at least one of your neighbors is relatively close because you only have so many turns before they progress to crossbowmen and put up walls, which can happen as soon as turn 40 to 70, at least on deity level, without Hammurabi in the game. So, start science research with animal husbandry technology and straight into archery that unlocks the unique unit. Build three slingers as early as you can to fight the barbs and earn promotions and earn Eureka boost to archery technology by killing the barb with one of those slingers. Then, save up some gold to upgrade these slingers to the Pitati archers. The upgrade is 80 gold, which is a bit more expensive than regular archers, but you can earn some schmackles by building mines that generate plus 2 gold over bonus and luxury resources for Nubia and trading away your luxuries to future victims. Civics Tree. Go with Craftsmanship for a gauche policy that adds 50% boost to the range and melee unit production and then into State Workforce with a Conscription policy that saves on gold on unit maintenance. Then beeline to political philosophy to unlock oligarchy with 20% more experience. Note that plus 4 combat bonus does not apply to range units. Military tradition should be the next civic with a stratego policy for great general points. Note again that both flanking and support are effective for and against melee attacks only which means Pitati ranged attacks will not gain flanking support bonus. If you have horses resources nearby, then start researching horseback riding to unlock horsemen to help support the rush and take down cities. Otherwise, go for bronze working to unlock iron and swordsmen. And encampment for great general points. Plan to settle two or three core cities, depending on the neighbor's proximity, to ensure steady production and development. God of the Forge Pantheon is a nice to have to build units even faster, but it's not a game breaker. Hire Magnus as your first governor if there are chops available to speed up production of units or districts. And then consider hiring Amani as your second governor to be able to levy armies of the neighboring city-states provided you have the city-states around. Build an encampment to start earning great general points. Don't forget to keep the economy and logistics going by sending traders to the front to build roads. The rest of the district build order would depend on what type of districts the conquered cities provide. I prefer to focus on commerce hubs early and then switch to a district geared towards a specific type of victory. Don't forget to build a government plaza and the warlord's throne. Sometimes ancestral hall might make sense if there is a lot of land to settle afterwards. Finally, unlock political philosophy and adapt oligarchy as your government. And that's it. Don't forget to pillage on your way through the enemy empire while producing units keep going until crossbowmen appear. That's when you know it is time to take a breather and reassess the situation. 
But at this point, you should have taken over at least one lucky neighbor and hopefully have 10 cities by turn 100 to set you up for a successful game. I've had several games with Nubia to prove this strategy and was successful to various degree every single time. Now it really depends what districts you want to build throughout this strategy because sometimes you're in the golden age and you want to build some holy sites and help infrastructure through purchasing maybe builders and maybe even settlers. Other times you want to build a couple of campuses and keep up with the science. So adapt to your game, do your own thing, but hopefully this blueprint helps you in your in your games. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. One more turn.